Hey guys, Blind Mahler's back, and here today I'm going to be doing a quick product overview review of the brand new Tangent Scale Models I-18 ICC BNO caboose. Um, so th these cabooses were uh, built by International Car Company um, when Fruit Growers Express wanted to get into the caboose building business. So. Um, they, the BNO uh, ordered these uh, cabooses of the I-18 class, they, and they ordered 47 of them, numbered C-3000 to C-3046. So they had 47 cabooses. Um, the ones I have here today are the BNO white safety caboose, the Raceland uh, repaint caboose in chassis system colors. And then I got a green safety caboose and a BNO blue caboose. So those are the four I have. Now each of them represent different time frames. The BNO blue caboose is from 1968 on forward. Uh, the green safety is 1973 on up. Um, the white uh, co safety caboose. Um, it's escaping my mind right now uh, what the time frame is on that, but. And then the Raceland chassis caboose, uh, which is a repaint. So just wanted to show you these boxes here. And for, um, I should mention that in when the BNO bought these, these were considered the I-18 class. Um, when chassis system took over, they were changed over to a new class uh, called the C-24 class of chassis cabooses. So. Um, as I mentioned earlier, BNO had 47 of them, and uh, and I got four of them here. So <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you a quick uh, what came, what comes in the box. So to be honest with you, I already removed them from the box because I was pretty excited when I got these, and I just had to take a look at them. Um, so in the box, you got an instruction manual. It's a quick and easy guide. Um, these are operating and lighted. They come with a keep alive in them. However, they do not require DCC control. So that's kind of nice. They just require track power so they can run on DC or DCC. You got your foam cradle there. And your box, it, it comes actually in a plastic sleeve, very similar to what like Aether and Gen Genesis models come in with a clamshell. Like I said, the caboose is taken out, but I wanted to show everybody what they're packaged in. So there you have it. Um, you also get a magnetic wand, which is used to operate the operating marker lamps and the rear blinking, um, I call them Freds, flashing rear end devices, but uh, the rear marker lamp on as well. So um, I took the wand out for uh, demonstration purposes already so <laughs> I've already messed around with these just to um, get an idea of how they work okay guys so here is the white safety caboose number 3003 there's a nice close-up shot of that um, it's got see-through and platforms I don't know if you're able to pick that up there but I will take these off the track for a better close, better look at them. So, uh, as you can see, they have rock screens, and uh, that's what the BNO call them. You know, we like to call them different things, window screens, but the uh, proper nomenclature for the BNO were rock screens. Um, there's your green safety uh, caboose emblem on the side. And we're going to be moving on to the green safety caboose, number 3000. And as you can see, it's got the proper three windows 
on this side of the caboose. With the rock screens on that as well. Rock screens again. Here's your safety emblem. I'm not sure how well the camera is picking up the marker lights, but I have I decided to have them lit um, to, while I'm showing the close-ups on these caboose. Cabooses. Here's the BNO 3016, and uh, I did look this up at, on the in the Dwight Jones BNO caboose book, and this is a pretty good, uh, almost dead on paint scheme. Um, so, as far as the BNO uh, caboose that I saw from the book to to the model, so it's pretty faithful in that representation. And last but not least. The Chessie Raceland repaint. Again, with the three windows properly placed, the rock window screens. The paint is absolutely amazing on these cabooses. And uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to, um, oh, I don't remember the guy's name, but he's on a Facebook page called Chessie system prototype modelers ran by Jason Quinn and he took the white caboose 3003 weathered it and they placed it on a, uh, a scenic track section and they use it as the the face of the page now so just wanted to throw that in there and give a shout out to uh, the person that did that great weathering look on it Get a shot of that. Uh... And here's the end of this one with the uh, blinking end light. I'm not sure how well that camera's picking that up, so but I swear to you, it does work, and it does blink at a pretty realistic rate. You got your end numbering, proper blue door at the end. Here's the uh, end detail, the railings, brake wheel, coupler cut levers, metal couplers, metal wheel sets, of course, to pick up electricity. Uh, see-through roof walks. Smoke jack detail. I'm going to separate this from the B&O caboose so you can see the paint. They do come and keep with a keep alive on the inside. Another thing I should mention about these cabooses, um, they have some pretty good weight to them. And I would imagine that's for the electrical pickup for the marker lights. Um, again, I hope this camera is able to pick up the marker lights working because they're really nice. They, they are very nice. Now, I will mention that off camera, I did measure the couplers, uh, heights, and the wheels, and they, my samples were all in gauge and at the proper height, so. The paint on these is absolutely stunning, in my opinion. Tangent did a real beautiful job with these.
Okay guys, this is the weight of the Raceland caboose. Weighing in at 4.6 ounces. Um, that's pretty hefty for a caboose. <laughs> Uh, especially uh, for this for this length but again um, for the weight that they have they are very free rolling so um, no need to worry about uh, any kind of uh, bind ups at the end of the train but uh, just wanted to show you the weight on that caboose Okay guys, so here's for another closer look at the caboose. This is pretty sturdy, I, I must admit. I've handled this pretty, a little bit roughly and these screens seem to hold on pretty well. Um, so let's go to the underbody detail here. We've got separate rigging, battery boxes, Floorboards. If we can zoom in on that see through platform there. Super sweet. Here's your couple of cut levers. Yeah, Tangent did a great job with these guys. Um, just wanted to say, speaking of the weight again, um, <laughs> the normal weight for a car of this length should be closer to about 3.5 ounces. So if that gives you any indication, they put a complete extra ounce of weight in there. So um, just wanted to also take note of the end uh, ladder railings here. Um, they're metal, so, so they're going to be pretty sturdy and stand up. They're correctly bent as well. And that's something you don't find on a lot of... Uh, cabooses you know you got those generic let's one caboose fits all yeah this is definitely a beautiful caboose by tangent great job tangent definitely fills that little niche for uh chassis system and bno modelers that we've always uh seemed to be excluded in some of that somehow some way so anyhow that's my quick uh overview slash review of the tangent scale models chassis um, B&O I-18 Chessy C24 class cabooses. Um, they're available at Tangent. Uh, they, re they retail for $89.99. Um, they're just, they're great models. <laughs> There's and nothing more can be said. Um, probably a little bit of weathering with these, uh, just a dusting and, um, these probably look like fantastic models and make them look worn in. Um, I suggest going to that Chessie Prototype Modelers page to get a nice look at what uh, somebody did as far as weathering up one and putting on a, on a realistic uh, diorama. It, it just, it's unbelievable. So there you go. Here's my quick take and uh, review of it. Um, you have the means i highly suggest going out and getting one or two or four or five <laughs> uh, a quick way to build up a caboose fleet um it'll be interesting to see how um there's somebody else that's supposed to be coming out with these later this year so it'll, it'll be interesting to see how those compare um but great job tangent um gorgeous cabooses can't say enough about them can't get enough of B&O cabooses in my book. So, all right. 
Fly my lure up. I will catch everybody on the other side. Later.